We've all heard the saying, little changes can make a big difference. And Patty Love Reed says that's especially true when it comes to our finances. CTV's chief financial commentator joins us now from our downtown studios. Good morning, Patty. Good morning, Beth. So this is great. So there's all kinds of things that you've compiled in terms of, you know, a grab bag of useful information <laughs> to kind of help us out. And, you know, some, some of which some people might do, but not all. And, and in, on the surface, they might not seem like they're going to help a lot, but they do in the long run. You know, Credit Counseling Canada, in conjunction with Capital One, took to Twitter because it's Financial Literacy Month and said, come on, share with us your savings ideas. What are things you're doing? And, you know, they came back. A lot of them we already know, but we know, you know, cutting out the latte. One individual said, I literally put $1,000 in my tax-free savings account. <laughs> Others would suggest that you should look at your contracts and your bills to make sure that they still make sense. I was talking to a colleague here, and he's pretty savvy, and he said, I don't remember the last time I looked at my phone bill. Mm. I've got a lot of services I don't use anymore and the list goes on and on so to your point it's not about doing one thing right it's about doing a lot of little things right okay so let me ask about energy costs yes well, I can tell you in our household, this came up for conversation last weekend when we set a programmable thermostat. And uh, not that I liked it, because I'm home about four hours before my husband, so we had to negotiate how to get it <laughs> quite right in the house. But, and that's because I start earlier, by the way. Yes. But on the other hand, uh, we looked at changing, we changed the filters in our furnace, and we changed some of our light bulbs to LED. And all of these things start to add up. People don't necessarily think about it, but as the seasons change, it makes all kinds of sense to pay attention attention to it. Sure does. And, and this may be a can of worms, but banking fees. <laughs> yes, banking fees, because they do add up. I get it. The banks are going to make money, but they don't have to necessarily do it entirely at your expense. So pay attention. What happens if you miss a bill payment? What happens if you write a check and there isn't money in your account? It's called non-sufficient funds, but there's a large fee that goes along with it. We're in a low interest rate environment. As one colleague said to me just recently, he said, if you don't ask, you don't get. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> negotiate. So, and then grocery store. Oh, shopping. wait a minute. Oh, come on, Bev. You know I don't cook. Even if I try, they tell me not to. So I'm out of my league, but I do know how to save money. So, you know, again, some of the things that we do, and I covered them off in the blog, plan your meals for the week. We don't buy food items uh, necessarily in a drug store, so why would I buy my drug goods in the food store when I can maybe get a better deal? Uh, be creative. Think outside of the box. Eat out the fridge one night. Literally, uh, another individual came up to me and said, this is what we do. Whatever's in the fridge before we go shopping it has to be eaten the meal before but these are all little things they do add up you know and we're always attractive to, to attracted to the the ads that say you know no money down now you know you know no percentage for however many months when is it more effective and efficient to pay up front well, I'll give you a classic example of a few that I got coming to, my, to me. They said, um, we didn't do much homework when we picked our roofer. When the roof started to leak and we had a warranty, but the roofer went out of business, so went the warranty. They also said being cheap caused us to replace our kitchen chairs three times. Oh the last time was a little embarrassing because it was a guest that sat on the chair. <laughs> and the final one was, my ex put a car I bought in his name so I could save on the sales tax. When he left, so did the car. Yeah. So the point is, being frugal can really wind up costing you in the long run. When it's a long-term item, you maybe want to spend a little bit more. We've been joking on the show a little bit about mm -hmm. how many shopping days left until Christmas and when to do it and what's best. <laughs> So, is it true that you finished your shopping now? Your budget for that would be done? Uh, the budget's done, the gifts are paid for, and on my Instagram I tweeted out a picture um, of all of the bags. Now, I still have to do the wrapping, that has to happen this weekend, but yes, bought and paid for. Wow. And you know what I do? I, I like to do it that way. I like going into the holiday season knowing it's behind me. And by the way, I'm taking back the cookbook that I got you for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, keep it. You cook. <laughs> Thanks, Patty. Thanks for joining us. Thanks a lot.